In, uh, in regard to advertising, which you mentioned just a little ago, in your writing, particularly in Enemies of Freedom, you attack Madison Avenue, which controls most of our television and radio, advertising, newspaper advertising, and so forth. Why do you consistently attack the advertising uh, agency? Well, no, I, I think that uh, advertisement plays a very necessary role, but the danger, it seems to me, in a democracy is this. I mean, what does a democracy depend on? A democracy depends on the individual voter making an intelligent and rational choice for what he regards as his enlightened self-interest in any given circumstance. But what these people are doing, I mean, what both for their particular purposes for selling goods and the dictatorial um, propagandists are doing, is to try to bypass the rational side of man and to appeal directly to these unconscious forces below the surface so that you are, in a way, making nonsense of the whole democratic procedure, which is based on conscious choice, of, on rational ground. Of course, well, maybe, maybe I, you have just answered this, this next question, because in your essay, you write about television commercials, not just political commercials, but television commercials as such. And how, as you put it, today's children walk around singing beer commercials and toothpaste commercials, and then you link this phenomenon in some way with the dangers of a dictatorship. Now, could you spell out the connection, or how do you feel that you have done so sufficiently? Well, I mean, here, okay, this whole question of children, I think, is a terribly important one, because the children are quite clearly much more suggestible than the average grown-up. And, uh, again, I suppose that, uh, that for one reason or another, all the propaganda was in the hands of one or very few agencies you would uh, have a, an extraordinarily powerful force playing on these children who, after all, are going to grow up and be adults quite soon. Uh, I do think that uh, this is not an immediate threat, but it, it remains a possible threat. And you said something to the effect in your essay that the children of Europe used to be called cannon fodder, and here in the United States they are television and radio fodder. Well, as after all, they, you can read in the... Uh, in the trade journals, the most lyrical accounts of how necessary it is to get hold of the children, because then they will be loyal brand buyers later on. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, again, the, you just translate this into political terms. The dictator says they will be loyal ideology buyers when they're grown up.